In this video, I am going to show you how you can make a mega menu, something like this using the Bloxy theme and Bloxy Premium or Bloxy Pro. If you are interested in learning how you can make the mega menus in the Bloxy theme, then without further ado, let's get started now. So in order to create the mega menu, what you actually want to do is to go to the dashboard of your website. And once you will go to the dashboard from here, you will see this option Bloxy. Once again, you require the Bloxy Pro in order to make the mega menus in the Bloxy theme. So from here, just click on the dashboard. And once you will click on the dashboard here, you will find this option extensions. So click on the extensions and then scroll down here. You will see this option advanced menus. So click on advanced menus and then enable this advanced menu option from here. Once you will enable this option from here, just click on the customize button. And once you will click on customize, you will be redirected to navigation menu option in your WordPress dashboard. So here you can see, I already have set it up this menu item in this way. So what I can do is to remove some of these items. So I can show you how I created that mega menu. So I'm going to remove all of these menu items from there so that you can see how you can make your own mega menu. There's just two more menu items here now, so it won't take much longer. It's not that difficult to create mega menus here. So from here you can see now I have home services about news and contact. I'll click on this save and then I'll go to the front page of website and let's give it a refresh. Now if I hover over you can see we don't have a menu here. Let's just insert some of these menu items here as the drop down. All right. Here you can see I have added some of these items. So I'll just make them as the drop down under the services and then we can actually start making our mega menu. So here's the last item right here and I'll just click on save menu and then I'll go here and let's give it a refresh. So here as I scroll up here you can see for now this is how it is looking. As I scroll down you can see our header is sticky and it is changing its property as it sticks down. If you don't know how you can create the sticky headers in the Bloxy theme, I already created a different video on how you can make the sticky headers in the Bloxy theme. I'll drop the link of that video in the description of this video. So now let's start working on our mega menu. So here, first of all, there is the services. So from here, just click on this and expand this and then click on menu item settings. From here, make sure you enable this mega menu settings. And as you enable this option, from here, you will see this option drop down width. You can choose any of these options. I'll for now just pick the custom width option right here. And then in my use case, I require the width of 700 pixels. If you want to use the content width, you can choose this option here. Then after that, you can decide the number of columns. So I only require the three columns. I'll choose the three column. If you want, you can choose the four, five, six, one or two, any number of columns that you require. So in my case, I require the three columns. So I'll pick the three columns from here. And then I require this template because in the first two columns, I'll add the menu items. And in the third column, I'll just insert an image right here. Then as you scroll down here, you will see this item label settings. From here for the item label, I want to make it clickable and I want to make it visible. So I'll keep it as enabled here. And then for the label link, I'll keep it as toggle on. If you want to insert an icon for this menu item, you can insert that as well, but I'm not going to use an icon. I'm good with that. Then here is some design option where you can set the background color for your mega menu and then some of the links colors for your mega menu. And then you can also set the heading fonts for here. So for now, I'll just change it from 17 to 20. So that it should be 20 here. And then I'll just click on save settings. Now that our settings for the parent is ready. We need to insert the columns for our mega menu. So I'll quickly distribute some of these items in two categories. So we'll have two columns. The first column is going to be for teeth. So I'll add a menu item for the teeth. And then I also need a menu item with the title of dental that is going to be serve as the title for our mega menu columns. So here for the teeth, I'll bring it at top here and then I'll bring the dental right here and then I'll assign all of the teeth related services under this teeth and then I'll assign these dental services right here under the dental and then I can just click on save menu and once you will click on the save menu this will get saved now let's go back to the website and let's give it a refresh now as I scroll down you can see this is how it is looking I want to make this teeth and dental as the heading so let's just go back and here under the teeth, click on this menu item settings and here just change it to heading. And then under the design, you have some other options available as well. If you want to change the heading color, you can change the color. 
and then if you want to change the background colors and the spacing as well you have all of those different options available so i'll just click on this save changes because i only want to change it to the heading then i also want to change this dental as the heading so i'll click on this menu item settings and then i'll change it to the heading and then i'll click on this save settings now let's just save this entire menu and let's go back to the front end of our website and let's give it a refresh now as i scroll down you can see these two are working as the headings and these are all the menu items now there is definitely the third column and we need to insert something inside the third column so in my case i want to insert an image inside of this third column so in order to insert the image inside of third column we can get of this content blocks option in the bloxy theme so i'll open this content blocks option right here and here you can see i have created this menu block here so let me just trash this menu block from here and then you can click on this add new and then give it a name i'll name it as menu block and then click on create content block and once you will click on the create content block it will open something like this you can use any of the page builders if you want you can use the elementor as well but in my case i'll be using the gutenberg and specifically the stackable blocks that stackable blocks for the gutenbergs so from here what i actually need is an image so i'll search for the image and i'll insert the image right here then just click on the image and choose the image that you want to use so i actually want to use this image right here and then i'll click on this select option i don't want to change any of the width or height option for this image i'll just click on this update option so now our block is ready we can just assign this block in the menu item so go to the menus here and let's just give it a refresh because we have added a new content block here you will find this option content block expand this option and here you will find your block select the block and then click on add to menu and then bring it here right at this position and then in here expand this and then click on menu item settings so we don't actually want to display the label or the heading for this one and we don't actually want to make it clickable so just remove that and then where it says content type change it to content block and then from here choose the block so i'll choose menu block right here and then for the visibility i want it to be visible on the desktop and the mobile both devices and then you can click on this save settings of course you have some design option available as well you can go through all of those different options so i'll click on this save menu option right here now that it gets saved let's just go back and let's just give it a refresh now as i hover over you can see this is how your mega menu is looking so in this way you can create your own beautiful mega menus in the bloxy theme i hope you have found this tutorial helpful if you found this tutorial helpful i have created ton of other tutorial around the bloxy theme i'll drop the link of that playlist in the description of this video if you have any question you can always drop them in the comment section and be sure to like this video be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video